with Councilman Roberto Trevino, um, who uh, just finished a, a very, very interesting week, um, uh, and it has everything to do with neighborhoods. Um, uh, tell, me, tell me what happened this week uh, in terms of neighborhoods and the SA Tomorrow Comp Plan. We, we reestablished the, the hard work that we had put in over, over the last few years to make sure that neighborhoods have their place in the comp plan, now, the neighborhood plan specifically. But at the heart of that is, is, is the, the heart and soul of our city. Uh, these plans speak to, to that uh, distinct and unique uh, diverse nature of our city and and we made sure that we reestablished that we made sure that the, the planning department is not going to take another step forward without the neighborhoods this is a partnership this is real collaboration and uh, we're happy to, to see this moving forward the way it should be moving forward with the neighborhoods not apart from them uh, the planning department will be holding more meetings with the neighborhoods we've even asked the american history architects to help facilitate maybe some some discussions throughout the community as as uh, some of these plans are going to be uh, worked out but we're going to work through them together that's what's really happening uh, we we have met with with the planning department we have met with the deputy city manager to make sure that this is this is not the will of the city this is not the will of our neighborhoods and uh, as we move forward on the comprehensive plan the comprehensive plan needs to be a plan that is that is created by all of us absolutely so so a little bit of background here um, uh, uh, when the original uh, SA Tomorrow ordinance was passed, you put an amendment in that ordinance that specifically put the neighborhood back in, right? That is correct. We worked really hard uh, on doing just that. We held uh, many meetings at our field office. We, 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 we met constantly with the planning department. We found the correct language that was, that was clear and specific. And uh, and so we, our intent is is uh, to to make sure that we keep that kind of language in the comp plan. That that is a very deliberate effort on on our part, and that uh, the planning department truly uh, doesn't just simply include uh, some of the language about neighborhoods, but is collaborative and works with the neighborhoods on the planning, so that we do this the way we all know it can be done. So to, to, to back up just a little bit, um, uh, in the past several months, uh, neighborhoods were being told by uh, people in the planning department, and I have video of the people in the planning department saying, no, your, your neighborhood plan is going to go away. And that was something that really upset people. They were not happy to see these plans that had spent, they'd spent a year, 14 months, 100, 200 different people in different neighborhoods. There's 55 different neighborhood plans on the city site, all of which have the effective law, their, their ordinance. Um, and those things, that the, they, the neighbors were being told by the planning department that those were going away and, and that they would be reduced to about two pages, including a little SWOT analysis um, and a reference. And so that, and that came to your attention, I think, fully, what, about a month ago? Yeah, about a month ago. And, uh, and we, took, we started taking steps to, to uh, reaffirm, as I said once again, in fact, I just just yesterday I was meeting with with uh, the planning director, uh, Bridget White, to to again reaffirm and to, to talk about how we are not moving forward uh, one step further on the comp plan without the the collaboration of our neighborhoods. Uh, I again the, the the language is pretty clear, and to say that that we're not going to include them or that it's going to be sort of a uh, something that's stuck on a on some kind of index page or. Or uh, you know something we, we may look at. I, I don't think I don't think that that's exactly the intent of, of what we wanted or we worked on over the last few years. Uh, this this really matters. This process matters, and how we get there is just important uh, as to how or what we get. And so we get what we get because we all work together. And and so I'm really proud of the fact that the neighborhood stood up. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna protect that right uh, because that's that's who San Antonio is, and we're not gonna lose that authenticity here in San Antonio. Other cities are losing it, not San Antonio. That's it's uh, to go back to that. The neighborhood stood up, but it's also I mean, if you will kind of forgive me for a minute because I, I care so much about civic engagement. I mean, that's actually part of Nowcast's mission. Our nonprofit mission is uh, to promote a, an, a, an inclusive civic conversation, but. But democracy and civic engagement is about people talking to each other, and when people's voices don't get listened to, then 
it, ha- it, it erodes our democracy. It erodes trust. It erodes it, at, 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 the ba- at, at the heart of all this, is, as I mentioned, is our responsibility as a city is to the community and not the other way around. And uh, so we, we need to maintain that trust. We need to maintain transparency. And we need to be very deliberate and clear about the words that we use to talk about how we move forward. When the community uh, is, is wanting to, to grow the city in a very special, authentic way, we need to pay attention to that. That is, that is uh, uh, the way this city wants to grow. And we know we need a comp plan. We know we need to do that. But how we do it is 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 very important, especially here in San Antonio. So uh, I I think that we're we're on our way, and uh, we'll we'll continue to keep an eye on it, and we'll shepherd the process through. Uh, what we can say is uh, we're really proud to work with the neighborhoods on this, and and certainly appreciate uh, all the hard work that they've done, and uh, and also just know that you know, that's what makes our city so special. We can't lose that. Um, the the. I remember now we, we webcast and we have video archives of every minute of SA 2020. And one of the things that struck me throughout the SA 2020 process was that one of the things that people wanted to keep about San Antonio, that they cherished about San Antonio, was its neighborliness. And and that's I guess that's sort of the heart of this as well. It, it really is. And and so as you can see, in fact, we're about to start an event yes. where we just walk the neighborhood. This is this is all we're, we're simply doing. We, we've changed uh, our formula where we're, we go and we meet and talk in an area or talk in a room, we're, let's go talk in the neighborhood. Let's go knock on people's doors. Uh, that's what San Antonio is all about. And, and I think most people who visit San Antonio from, from elsewhere n- recognize that is the uniqueness of San Antonio. We must protect that. Uh, so many cities are becoming homogenized. They, 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 they look like the next city or, or their neighbor. And, and, and San Antonio is, is, is not that city. San Antonio is truly uh, a, a, a fabric of, of diverse cultures. And that's what makes us so special. So uh, you're right. You nailed it. I, it's all about our neighbors. And, and I, I, I love my neighbors. I, you know, I, I can tell you that you know, every day uh, I go home, uh, if I come home late, they, they tell me somebody drove by the house or, hey, there's a package we got for you. I, 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 you know, we, we wouldn't be who we are if it wasn't for our neighbors. Thank you so much. Um, last little thing, not little. You couldn't have done this by yourself. You had some support from other city council members. Absolutely. And I want to say, you know, that... Uh, we're really appreciative of, of the, the council members that, that we're seeing, the, the the pressures as as this was as was started started to push out, the council members like uh, Councilman Shirley Gonzalez and Councilman Ana Sandoval uh, were were recognizing and seeing the same things we were, and so I, I'm, I'm I'm very appreciative of their support, and uh, we'll continue to build that support on City Council for this effort, for, for making sure that neighborhoods are our priority and not just an index in our, in our catalog. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.